హలో ఎవరోన్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ వెంకటేశ్వరరావు ఇన్ ది లాస్ట్ లెక్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రో కెమిస్ట్రీ వీ కేమ్ టు నో దట్ గాల్వానిక్ ఆర్ వాల్టాయిక్ సెల్ విచ్ మేక్స్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ రిడాక్స్ రియాక్షన్ ఫర్ ది జనరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ అండ్ డేనియల్ సెల్ ఈజ్ ద బెస్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ గాల్వానిక్ ఆర్ వాల్టాయిక్ సెల్ and the cell reaction in the galvanic uh, in the daniel cell is in the daniel cell is zinc it is a solid plus cu plus 2 aqueous which is a reversible reaction zinc oxidizes as zn plus 2 and cu deposits as copper cu plus 2 becomes cu this is the cell reaction which is which takes place in daniel cell already i told you that uh, daniel cell construction and its working process right this is the cell reaction in the daniel cell with the use of this redox reaction daniel cell produces a electrical energy daniel cell produces electrical energy with the use of this redox reaction right how this electrical energy is produced how the electrical energy is produced by this uh, redox reaction right i shall try to explain how that daniel cell produces uh, electrical energy with the help of this uh, redox reaction right in fact the electrical energy that is produced by daniel cell is the product of uh, emf and quantity of electricity which passes through the cell i repeat i repeat electric energy that is produced in the daniel cell is the product of emf and quantity of electricity that passes through the cell that is electrical energy electrical energy that is produced in the daniel cell is the product of emf and quantity of electricity quantity of electricity right so electrical energy that produced in the daniel cell that produced in the daniel cell is the product of emf of the cell and quantity of electricity that passes through the cell right according to this formula actually the emf of the daniel cell emf of the daniel cell is 1.10 volts 1.10 volts and this is the emf emf is 1.10 volts and what is the quantity of electricity if we know the quantity of electricity and if we multiply that quantity of electricity with emf uh, we get electric energy that is produced in the daniel cell right so quantity of electricity let us calculate the quantity of electricity right in this cell reaction in this cell reaction liberation as well as liberation as well as taking up two electrons zinc on oxidation it liberates two electrons and copper cu plus 2 by taking up the two electrons it deposits uh, copper it uh, deposited as copper that is uh, 2 
gram equivalents of copper that is 2 gram equivalents of copper is deposited or 2 gram equivalents of zinc is uh, that is uh, 2 gram equivalents of uh, zinc is dissoluted that is 2 gram equivalents of zinc is dissoluted or 2 gram equivalents of copper is deposited right. So, uh, the quantity of electricity uh, according to the Faraday's second law quantity of uh, electricity quantity of uh, electricity according to Faraday's second law is number of electrons into 96500 coulombs 96500 coulombs this is the quantity of electricity that passes through the Daniel cell according to Faraday's second law that is the uh, number of electrons transferred uh, into 96500 coulombs right so we, we we can know the quantity of electricity and if we multiply this quantity of electricity with emf uh, we get the electrical energy that is produced in the daniel cell right so electrical energy electrical energy ee electrical energy is emf what is the emf 1.10 volts and quantity of electricity 1.10 volts emf is 1.10 volts and quantity of electricity is 2 into 96500 coulombs right coulombs okay so volts into coulombs okay the product of volt and coulombs gives a joules that is joules and 1.10 into 2 into 96500 which comes out to be 212300 volts into coulombs that, that can be written as joules so product of volt into coulombs uh, it was joules right so electrical energy that is produced in the daniel cell is 2,12,300 joules of uh, electrical energy is produced uh, in the Daniel cell, right? But the question is, but the question is actually, so we can write this as, uh, so n, this, can, this is the number of electrons uh, uh, transferred or number of electrons uh, which undergo in the redox reaction and that can be represented n and this is the 96500 coulombs that we can written as uh, 1 faraday so already we know that uh, 1 faraday is equal to it is the electrical charge carried by 1 mole of electrons so n into f right n into f and the emf is emf is e usually generated by e cell usually represented by E cell, so we can write, and this is the n into f, n into f. So we can write it as n f e cell. So electrical energy is equal to n f e cell, where e cell is emf of the cell. Okay, we know the formula to calculate the emf of the cell. That is e r h s minus e l h s, provided that. Uh, uh, potentials are reduction potentials right so electrical energy is equal to nfe actually in fact it is the formula it is the formula to calculate the electric energy that is produced by the daniel cell but what we are looking for we are looking for how this electrical energy is generated how this electrical energy is generated right so my question is you please keep this uh, mind in my uh, word but the question is how this electrical energy is produced so 
this is the formula this is the formula by which we can calculate the amount of electric energy that is produced by the Daniel cell the what is that formula we can uh, if we multiply the emf with the quantity of electricity that can give the that can give the electric energy that is produced by daniel cell but the question is but the question is how this electric energy is produced right so you please uh, uh, keep your mind on my words Play, uh, right according to law of conservation of energy according to law of conservation of energy one form of energy is converted into another form of energy i repeat according to law of conservation of energy one form of energy is converted into another form of energy uh, that is uh, usually we uh, we call it as a uh, we uh, we stated that law is uh, energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be converted from one form to another form right so according to law of conservation of energy one form of energy is converted into another form of energy so here what form of energy or which form of energy is converted into electric energy there is some another form of energy that is converted into electrical energy okay there is some other form of energy that converts into electrical energy okay there is some other form of energy is there a during this redox reaction taking place right so during that redox reaction there is some other form of energy is there and that some other form of energy is converted into electrical energy what is that some other form of energy that another form of energy that is gibbs free energy that is called gibbs free energy that is called gibbs free energy that is gibbs free energy that another form is uh, gibbs free energy gibbs free energy uh, um, what is that gibbs free energy for whom that gibbs free energy that gibbs free energy is of for the uh, uh, redox reaction so this redox reaction has uh, this uh, redox reaction and this reversible reaction has uh, gibbs free energy and this this form of energy is converted into electrical energy okay in 19th century gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, electrical energy which is generated in the daniel cell originates from originates from decreasing in the gibbs free energy of a redox reaction that is taking place in the daniel cell right so i repeat that uh, um, uh, helmholtz gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, electric energy that is produced electric energy that is produced in the daniel cell is originates from free energy decrease of a redox reaction that is occurring in the daniel cell so for this re redox reaction for this redox reaction for this redox reaction for this redox reaction there is a uh, uh, for this reaction reaction has a gibbs free energy i shall explain what is meant by gibbs free energy in the later sections when we are discussing the thermodynamics actually for uh, for the name sake gibbs free energy uh, uh, i shall give you the uh, outline of for uh, gibbs free energy it is isothermally available heat content of the system or heat content of the reaction here the isothermally available heat content of the reaction that is called gibbs free energy okay i shall explain this gibbs free energy when we uh, when we are discussing the thermodynamics concept right so um, this gibbs free energy the gibbs free energy is converted into into 
electrical energy that gibbs free energy is converted into electrical energy so uh, gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, electrical energy we know that uh, electrical energy is electrical energy is electrical energy is equal to n f e cell by this equation we can calculate the electric energy that is produced that is produced in the daniel cell but gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, this electrical energy according to law of conservation of energy this electric energy is generated electric energy this much electric energy is this much electric energy is generated but uh, how the electric energy is produced uh, there is another form of energy which converts into electric energy we know that uh, dynamo dynamo that can converts mechanical energy into electric energy motor that can converts uh, electric energy into mechanical energy similarly similarly there is another form of energy which converts into electric energy what is that another form that is uh, gibbs free energy gibbs free energy of this redox reaction so there is a decrease of gibbs free energy which results or which generates or which produces a uh, uh, electric energy of the daniel uh, cell so electrical energy is the is originated from decrease in gibbs free energy electric energy is decrease in gibbs free energy of the redox reaction nfe cell right so minus delta minus sign indicates the decrease of gibbs free energy change decrease of gibbs free energy change so gibbs and helmholtz found that uh, the decrease in gibbs free energy change uh, produces uh, the, this much of electric energy is originates from decrease in the gibbs free energy so this much of gibbs free energy is decreased and that gibbs free energy is converted into electrical energy right so what form of energy is converted into electric energy gibbs free energy is converted into electrical energy right so that is given by delta g is equal to n f e cell right for example if all the substances involved in the redox reaction or at standard states that is at unit concentrations uh, then this uh, gibbs free energy is called as standard gibbs free energy change or standard gibbs free energy okay so minus delta g not is equal to n f e not cell right right if all the substances involved in this reversible reaction or in the reversible cell a or at uh, are at uh, um, standard states that is at unit concentrations uh, then the uh, gibbs free energy is known as a standard gibbs free energy change and is equal to nfe not cell nfe not cell right okay so electrical energy is delta g is equal to minus change in decrease in gibbs free energy is equal to n f e cell right if the substances if the substances in this redox reaction all the substances that are participating in this reaction or in the standard states if all the substances involving this reaction are at standard states that is at unit concentrations uh, then this uh, gibbs free energy change is called standard gibbs free energy change that is equal to n f e not cell right and the standard gibbs free energy change is in relation with equilibrium constant uh, as per the thermodynamics uh, by the equation delta g is equal to delta g not plus rt ln k 
where k is the equilibrium constant so equilibrium constant is in relation with the delta g by this equation delta g is equal to delta g naught plus r t l n k this is uh, this is the equation from thermodynamics okay this is the fundamental equation in the thermodynamics and we shall uh, recall this equation when we uh, discuss the thermodynamics right so this for for this uh, uh, lecture you have to uh, remember this equation delta g is equal to delta z naught plus r t l n k right and we know that uh, gibbs free energy delta g delta g is equal to we can write this as for delta g this equation becomes minus n f e cell we can substitute this uh, minus n f e cell value in this equation minus n f e cell is equal to and delta g naught for this delta g naught we can write uh, minus n f e naught n f e naught cell plus uh, r t l n k where k is the equilibrium constant uh, of this uh, reversible reaction equilibrium constant of this uh, reversible reaction we know that equilibrium constant is the ratio of concentration of products to concentration of uh, reactants and we can uh, we can generalize this equation uh, that is a moles of a and b moles of b gives rise to c moles of c and d moles of uh, this is the generalized reversible reaction but we are taking the, we are considering this uh, this uh, uh, reversible reaction in this uh, section right okay so minus nf e cell is equal to minus nf e not cell plus rt ln k and for the sake of my convenience uh, i shall uh, divide the whole equation with uh, nf okay so e cell is equal to if we dividing the whole equation with nf uh, that is e not cell plus r t by n f l n k l n k right and if we multiply the uh, with the negative sign that is to uh, to eliminate this negative sign so e cell is equal to e not cell minus uh, r t by n f l n k right l n k this is called nernst equation this is called nernst equation and we can convert uh, the, the actual this is in the neperian logarithms we can convert this logarithm into brixian logarithms by multiplying with 2.303 right that is e cell is equal to e not cell minus uh, 2.303 rt by n f log k log k where k is k is equilibrium constant where k is equilibrium constant already i told you that equilibrium constant is the ratio of concentration of products to concentration of reactants here the products are zn plus 2 ions and copper this is the copper solid that is copper metal copper is deposited in the daniel cell so we can take this uh, copper copper concentration as unit whenever the uh, uh, copper solid that is copper metal is there we can take that concentration as unity right so uh, concentration of zn plus 2 concentration of zn plus 2 by and concentration of uh, cu plus 2 concentration of uh, cu plus 2 okay here the concentration of zinc is uh, uh, taken as unity for metals uh, always for metals uh, the concentration of metals is always unity okay you can take unity value for concentration of the metals right <coughs> solid metals okay so we 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 will uh, we take only uh, uh, what is it called solution concentrations right 
So, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by NF log concentration of Zn plus 2 by concentration of Cu plus 2 ions. This is called Nernst equation. This is called Nernst equation. Nernst equation. And this equation is applicable to single electrode reactions also. Okay, this is the most important equation in the electrochemistry uh, which enables us to calculate the single electrode potentials and EMF of these cells, right. This is the most important equation, right, okay. And uh, at 298 kilo by substituting the or gas constant 8.314 and temperature value and Faraday is 96,500 coulombs and if we substitute these values and 2.303 RT at uh, 25 degrees centigrade or at 298 Kelvin, the value of 2.303 RT by F uh, which comes out to be 0 0.059, okay. So, we can write uh, 0 0.059 instead of 2.303 RT by F, right. So, E cell is equal to E cell is equal to E naught cell minus uh, 0 0.059 by N log concentration of Zn plus 2 ions by concentration of uh, Cu plus 2 ions. Right, so this is called Nernst equation for uh, this is uh, Nernst equation for uh, Daniel cell. Right, this equation is applicable to single electrode reactions also. Right, right. So by this equation, we can conclude one point that E cell, that is E cell means EMF of this cell. EMF means electromotive force. It is the force to motivate the electrons towards higher potential, right. So, EMF of this cell is increases with increase in concentration of Cu plus 2 ions. If the denominator concentration increases, uh, E cell value increases. So, E cell, EMF of this cell increases with increase in concentration of Cu plus 2 ions and decreases with decrease in concentration of uh, Zn plus 2 ions. So, from this equation, we can conclude one point that uh, EMF of this cell increases with increase in concentration of Cu plus 2 ions and decreases with decrease in concentration of uh, Zn plus 2 ions, right. So, this is about uh, uh, thermodynamics of the reversible reaction or the re uh, thermodynamics uh, involving in the thermodynamics involving in the reversible cell and Nernst equation. So, this is very, very important concept in electrochemistry and we already uh, every lecture or uh, if you, if you watch any video, uh, uh, Daniel cell which converts, uh, which converts, uh, uh, which converts uh, chemical energy into electric energy and they give the formula delta G equal to minus NFE. But you do not understand, you could not understand how the electric energy is generated. So, according to law of conservation energy, one form of energy is converted into another form of energy. Here, the one form of energy is converted into electric energy, that one form of energy is Gibbs free energy. So, Gibbs free energy is the thermodynamic term, okay. So, that, uh, that decrease in Gibbs free energy produces the electric energy. So, Gibbs free energy is decreasing and this decrease of Gibbs free energy produces the electric energy. This form is disappearing, that Gibbs free energy is disappearing and electric energy is uh, appearing. That is, Gibbs free energy is decreasing and electric energy is increasing, right. So, this is about uh, thermodynamics of a reversible cell. Okay, if you really like this uh, lecture, you please share, uh, you please like, share and comment. Thank you.